one more day on the Land Rover for Tommy. I'm working on a 69C10. We're glad you guys came by. Check it out. Morning, everybody. Odd Rod Garage here. And today, we're doing all kinds of weird, unorthodox things. So we have the intake ready to go on the Land Rover LS conversion. Some guy put the intake on backwards. We had to do that to clear the radiator, all that stuff. So now that means the throttle's at the back, which isn't that big of a thing because the cylinder heads are symmetrical, so you can take those intakes and put them backwards, forwards, whatever. The intake is at the back. So obviously we're gonna have to make throttle linkage. Uh-oh. So this is a little bit unconventional again, hot rod garage. Here's a kick down cable. With the throttle in the back, that means it's gotta be like right here. No biggie. So here's the intake. Um, fuel rail's all clean, we're all ready to go. So now what we have here is we have the starts of the throttle plate. What we need to do is we need to make a plate, probably a, a flat profile. Um, and then obviously we'll have to make our bracketry to actually grab onto the housing itself. So this is my theory. So we need to do this and then I get into So let's go ahead and cut this guy out. My idea is to actually like have it arched or something like that. I don't know. You never know, right? Let's cut it out and uh, we'll see what we got. Cut it out. And here you're just coming off here or something, right? To... Yeah. See, the problem is because this goes back that more than up. Yeah, that is not a back scratcher. That is throttle bracket. The starts in one. I know it's ugly right now. We'll have to clean her up. Check it, check it out. So there's the starts of something weird. This is where the actual uh, the kick down cable actually mounts to. This is the pin that pulls it. The actual throttle cable goes in here and comes around. And it's actually going to go forward. So we need to make an eyelet setup right like right in here. There's the starts of something. So hang on. So we're going to trim this off. This whole thing here. We'll probably use part of this for the throttle uh, eyelet that needs to go in there. I'm pretty brave, but I'm not willing to hold on to that. So hang on. So now, let's go mount this back up there so it looks like. So there's your throw. Vroom, 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 vroom. Obviously, it has to be adjusted still. Um, so now, let's go ahead and punch some holes here. And we'll get the idea of what we want to do for this guy here. Bloop, 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 bloop. All right. That's kind of what it looks like right there. Anyway, kind of cool, kind of cool. Pete had bought one of those um, adjustable plates, and I think what we're gonna do is we'll go ahead and drill a series of holes. Um, that way we can have a little bit of adjustment in that respect. And the snorkel actually goes on the other side. So, we're looking good, guys, looking good. Nice. So you've all have seen these uh, universal brackets. The reason why we did this is mainly because this kind of is kind of hard to fabricate. It's not impossible. We've done it a lot. What I'm going to show you. So this is where it mounts to the intake. Here's our throttle. Um, I made a gusset that goes on the underside of it so you'd never see it. Kind of neato. <laughs> We're going to drill six different holes here and this is so we can adjust this. And the cable is also adjustable too. Let's go ahead and punch these six holes. Okay. Just double check here. Bammo. 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 All right. So we got the throttle hooked up. Let's see it work. Pretty cool. So next, we're going to take this bracket off. We need to arch this out for the alternator. And then, we'll see if it wants to fit. Yep, 
Is this ideal? No. Well. Not too bad. All right. So here's our little notch right there. See it? Let's put this back on there. Um, and if it fits, then we'll go ahead and polish it up a little more. But if it doesn't, we know how much more we need to go. Tools of destruction. Look at that. Nestled right in your little little cubby hole. <laughs> so this is going to be his uh, the coolant reservoir. Um, this actually the radiator cap port is going to be up here, and then the upper to the radiator goes in here. And out of here is going to go to the um, to the water pump. So he wants it to sit something like this. I've already have a piece of steel that's got uh, this pattern drilled in it, and I'm going to do something a little more, a little unconventional, as we normally do. So here's our pattern. They made it easy on us. The bracket that's on welded to the uh, the reservoir um, is actually an uh, inch on center. So inch 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 so there's three different positions that that bottle can go on you know it's material that had to be there anyway right uh, something like that or or ooh, fancy i went ahead and adjusted this angle a little bit more so when you bolt it on there it's nice and vertical i should probably clean this up at least just a little bit and then uh let's mount the bottle to it and uh see what we got so there's the starts of it Here's our pattern. We got our adjustable pattern here. So once I triangulate that, the bracket, um, she'll come up with that. So here's my uh, Art Deco design. <laughs> so this is the triangulation bracket part. So it goes fender, wheelhouse. So anyway, let's go ahead and cut off all the stuff we don't need, shape it, and paint it. Yay! Well, you guys, there it is. Another weird bracket. Anyway, that's just uh, just just to do it right now. We need to get the right hardware for that. Let's see. It triangulates down in there, and anchors here and here. Pretty cool. Pretty cool. Anyway, um, it might end up with a like a tab that goes underneath it to hold it to help kind of hold it up a little bit. But uh, anyway, that's the start of something beautiful right there. All right. Well. Another day in the life of the Odd Rod Garage. We appreciate you guys coming by and checking out the silly things that we do. You can see we got some bracketry done as far as an intake is concerned. Also got the intake all cleaned up, everything ready to roll on that. So that's basically bolted down and ready to go. In addition to that, we got a little bit of stuff taken care of on the alternator bracket. We had to notch that so that it would go down. Now we got to buy an alternator. Thanks a lot, Tommy. And we also got some bracketry taken care of for the radiator overflow. Uh, we're going to have to customize that. I'll show you that when we take weld that up later on. But we have to get the bracketry done in the meantime. Anyway, we appreciate you guys coming by and checking out what we do. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Give us a thumbs up. Give us a like. Share the link. Check out our web store, www.theoutroadgarage.com. And as always, thanks for watching.